In Shadowrun 5th Edition, combat isn't always about trying to kill your enemies. Sometimes it's more about controlling the situation. Nothing in the Shadowrun rules is designed quite so well for that as the clinch action. Clinch is quite unique among unarmed combat actions. It uses gymnastics instead of a close combat skill, it only requires a simple action, and it doesn't depend at all on strength. To perform a clinch, your character must first learn the martial arts technique called clinch from one of the following styles. Boxing, either brawler or swarmer styles, firefight, jujitsu, krav maga, muay thai, sangre y acero, wildcat, or any style of wrestling. To initiate a clinch, use a simple action to make a gymnastics plus agility test, opposed by your target's reaction plus intuition. If you score any net hits, you've engaged your target in a clinch. Take note of those net hits, though. They're going to be important later in the combat. There are several direct results of a clinch. Neither you nor your opponent may move away from each other during the clinch, though you and your target both have the ability to move the pair of you up to two meters on each of your action phases. The character who engaged the clinch, hopefully you, gains the superior position modifier to all melee actions, a bonus of plus two dice, while maintaining the clinch. Reach modifiers are negated for both combatants. Melee weapon attacks suffer a penalty equal to their reach, if any at all, and attacks with firearms suffer a penalty equal to the net hits scored on the initial clinch test. Setting up a successful clinch also opens up the throw person action. Now, it may not be as powerful as a subduel action, but it's easier to pull off, and the superior position modifier might just be the edge you need to pull off a successful subduel attempt, or attempts to straight up punch your opponent in the face until they stop resisting. Also, clinch is an excellent technique to set up the delivery of a few touch spells. Your opponent can break out of the clinch with an escape action. This requires a complex action and a successful unarmed combat plus strength test with a threshold equal to the net hits scored on your initial clinch test. If they have the right martial arts technique, they can perform an interrupt action called a reversal. This costs minus seven initiative score and requires a successful opposed unarmed attack test with a threshold equal to the number of hits scored on your initial clinch test. Note that this refers to hits, not net hits, so it's much more difficult to pull off than the escape. If the reversal is successful, though, your target becomes the one with the superior position in the clinch. Now there's one more thing to be careful of. You can release your target from a clinch with a free action, but if you do, they may immediately take an interrupt action to engage you in a clinch with a plus one bonus dice on that test, so make sure the fight ends on your terms before you let go. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you'd like me to do a video on next, and if you liked this video, please consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash complex action. Our patrons help to support the videos we make here and in return get access to thank you rewards. Everything here is made possible by the generous support of our patrons, and thanks again for watching.